Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, we are going to look at nullable types and non nullable types. So, essentially, what that means is if you have a variable, for example, so let's create a variable called epic var and we'll have a data type of integer. And okay, that is fine. We could do epic var equals seven, for example, and we can do a print line. Of epic var run it and you know we'll get seven printed out. nothing new this is you know stuff that we've done before but maybe you don't want to assign a value yet you want to sign no and based on a certain condition that you could check for later on if it's no you could do something accordingly so if I try and assign no to it you get an error it says no cannot be a value of a non no type int so if you want to make the variable accept the null value after you put your data type here if you put a question mark it means it's a nullable data type and if we print that out now not only will that compile we'll get a result in the console as well which you'll see in a couple of seconds which just obviously says no so that's the difference you just have to put a question mark if you want it to be a nullable data type. So whether it's an integer, a string, whatever it is, doesn't matter. If you don't want it to be nullable, don't put a question mark. And that way it cannot accept a value of no. And if you want to, you know, do a check. So maybe you want to say if epic var equals no, for example, you could do something accordingly. If it equals no, maybe you want to assign some sort of default value of I don't know, one, for example. And that is, you know, again, that's just a simple use case of where you might want to do it. So if it is no, maybe initially you set stuff to no, you get user input. If you do not get user input for Epic VAR, you know that it, you haven't received it. You might be thinking, okay, can I not just assign zero? But zero might actually be a valid input. So, you know, if you're accepting numbers, for example, and it might be how many cars do you own? Zero is a valid number. You you might you know own zero cars you might own 10 cars you might own a hundred cars but if you so if, if this is a nullable data type and by default it has the no value you can check okay if it has no then you could you know just may put zero in the car example but in some other example you could put assign some other default value so that's the difference between nullable and non-nullable types and how to implement them really simple if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video